Hello and thanks for watching. My name is Jim. This video in about a minute is going to show you Eric Menzies of the Nevada Northern Railway telling the ghost story uh, from Ely, Nevada. It's a little different than what you might expect. And I have known about Ely and ridden the train a couple times, but never really did the shop tour or stopped in to look very closely. Uh, I'm going to show you all these photos while I give you a little summary uh, and tell, talk to you about the background. I was making a couple of trips back and forth from Utah to California in June of 2018. I stopped in, and uh, I, I also happen to be uh, not, the, not the webmaster per se, but like the back-end webmaster for the Virginia and Truckee. Uh, so we're actually placing this uh, video in a blog post uh, on the VNT uh, Virginia Truckee.com website. And I met with Eric and got a chance to follow him around, and I was very impressed. See, you'll see some items here inside the shop. Uh, lots of great uh, photographic opportunities. Anybody that's a rail fan or just likes to ride trains or likes history should really visit this place. That's Dirt the Cat. Don't miss out on Dirt. And beyond that, let's uh, check out Eric. That is, I want to tell you why we are called the Ghost Train. Who knows of us called the Ghost Train? Hear you. So it's all about the locomotive pulling us. Locomotive 40 was our passenger engine between 1910 and 1941. It cannot pull an ore train. It doesn't have the power. So when they stopped passenger service, that engine did not have a job to do. But what happens in December of 1941? <laughs> Pearl Harbor gets bombed. And that drove America into the war effort, and the um, scrap metal prices way up. With the scrap metal prices way up, that also gave the War Department power to requisition stuff for their use. Whether they wanted to use it um, for the, what the, whatever their requisition was made for, or if they wanted to cut it up, melt it down, and make it tanks, bombs, planes, bullets, and all that kind of stuff. The local railroaders loved this engine that even without a job for it to do and no passenger train, they wanted it um, safe, they wanted it to look good, they still took care of it. But they got afraid that when the war effort came out to inspect the mine, um, they would see this engine not being used and they would uh, requisition it for scrap. <laughs> and at the time, trains ran down into the mine and there were 18 miles of railroad track alone in the open pit copper mine. And they knew the War Department officials were not trained to go down that deep into the mine. So they got this locomotive steamed up in the middle of the night and ran up to the mine and it hid on the 18 miles of railroad track. It disappeared like a ghost. <laughs> and basically it has a very distinctive whistle and whenever anyone in Ely heard that whistle, they said that's the ghost train coming through. The <laughs> and that's why we started being called the Ghost Train of Old Ely. Now that is local legend, some facts, some fiction, but I let you decide. <laughs> and anyways, we still have her to this day and she is one of our regular uh, steam locomotives. We have two steam locomotives that are in operation, uh, four steam locomotives on the property. And if you take the engine house tour with me, you will see one of those locomotives that is under restoration stripped down to its bare boiler. Anyways, uh, enjoy the rest of the ride. I got the rest of my voice for that guided tour.